Starting this month, an increasing number of states will offer insurance programs to immigrant families. Regardless of their legal status, Utah is among those states. KUTV's Christian Sita talked to Voices for Utah Kids about this program and what taxpayers can expect. The insurance programs will be state funded, meaning at taxpayer dollars, and, and it'll cost $4.5 million a year. Utah is expanding its existing children's health insurance program, CHIP. The difference is that non-citizen children will be allowed to participate in this program. It's for families that can't qualify for Medicare or the traditional CHIP program due to their undocumented status. Mo Hickey is with Voices for Utah Children. We estimate that approximately 2,000 children are eligible. Uh, and those are children living on, under 200% of the federal poverty level. According to the Pew Research Center in the U.S., there are 10.5 million undocumented immigrants. In Utah, it's about 89,000. Hickey says nearly 8% of Utah kids don't have health insurance. The initial cost is taxpayer funded. The program will be funded by the state and premiums paid by participating families. Enrollment capped at 2,000 children. We were already funding the program if you really look at it as it as by not having the program the state was spending nine million dollars on unreimbursed charitable care uh, and that's just a direct cost not the, um, the extra cost of not having proper health care and hickey believes you can't put a price on the health of children Families can apply for this at the Department of Health, and you must be a resident of six weeks here in the state of Utah. Reporting live, Christian Sita, KUTV 2 News.